You laugh at them. We cringe at them. The moments when it all goes horribly wrong. It'll be all right on the night is sponsored by Coburn Special Reserve. How do you do? I'm Charles. Excellent. Here it comes. You hope you're all watching this back at home back there. It's what I call goof. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dennis Norton. And hello. I wasn't, uh, wasn't it Rudyard Kipling who said, if you can smile while all about you is going wrong, then you're probably gathering material for another cock-up programme. <laughs> and that being exactly what our researchers have been doing all year, welcome to this tenth collection of All Right Outtakes. 112 in all, and each one guaranteed new, fresh, morning-gathered, lemon-scented and just the kind of thing they don't tell you about on media training courses. <laughs> As usual, I'm the price you have to pay for the funny bits. So, let me lead you to the first batch, which confirms how some of television's most distinguished personages, performers and politicians seem to come equipped with every technical skill but only a 2K memory. Well, traditionally people talk about the four C's as being the main barriers for women. Cash, culture, child care. And what the hell's the fourth? You can see why she's a refreshing and different kind of culture. <laughs> It's got to be in the outtake. <laughs> right, that. It's a very good program. This is a program called uh, A Room with Two Views that I made. And what it is, you get two people with a very diverse uh, way of looking at things, right? Very diverse opinions. No chairperson, just sit them in a room and they have a discussion, they have a debate about it. And what we've got here are these people, OK? Let's have a look who we got. <laughs> I didn't put the f tape in, did I? Give you a national figure now. How are you treated by the British public? Is there a difference between the way men and women treat you? In the beginning, I think women were kind of, um, you know, my look obviously looks can deceive, and a lot of people can have preconceived ideas how you must be. So, as soon as I could get on any chat show of any kind, I wanted to get on there to prove that I had a brain and a personality. Um, <laughs> what did you ask me again? <laughs> and friends and all you can do is go off and get drunk and then come home here and do absolutely nothing. Nothing? I just walked 10 kilometres to, uh, to get a roll of paper. I paid 20 bucks for this stupid thing of happy birthday on it. I had to walk all the way home because, of course, there is no hope of getting a taxi on Christmas Eve just so you could show off in front of your parents with your fancy thing. I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> Gold. What was it? <laughs> Where will you go if he doesn't turn up? Oh, I don't know. Go home, I suppose, and commit suicide. <laughs> Where will you go if she doesn't come? Same, I suppose. Still, I expect they'll get here sooner or later. Yes. Yeah. One of us will have to speak. <laughs> it's been a hard day's night. I should be sleeping like a lot. That's why I love to come home. Cause when I get you alone, you know I feel 
all right. Can we go over five o'clock? Or we, or we into uni in trouble there, brother? That's one that may have taken some of you back further than you cared to go. Now, as for the next segment, it comes by special request of a regular viewer who wrote asking, could you please give us more extracts from historical dramas? Because surely any form of TV where actors wear funny clothes and ride horses must offer unrivaled opportunities for things not to turn out the way they're supposed to. Well, Mr. Wogan, you may well be there. Right. <laughs> See for yourself. Vet du att du är min idol? Det är något särskilt med dig också. Jag vill ju inte förstöra någonting. Inte jag heller. Inte som en bubi. Now you look. Where I come from, people aren't afraid to admit who they are and give honest answers to honest questions. Things obviously work differently here. Miss Hale. Montana! Okay. <laughs> Go on. There's nothing wrong with you. Oh, but a pain. Do you think we want to see people in your state? Is everything all right, nurse? Not now, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've always been taught to take people as I find them. Doesn't matter who they are, where they're from. When I came here on God's mission, there wasn't a school, so I started one. I'm in the process of looking for someone I can trust. Someone who will inspire and educate the children. There's no way right to the table I'm gonna leave here. from the files of the Noise Abatement Society. We're always on the lookout for new outtake sources. This time round, we began tapping into America's small town TV stations. And it was really heartening to find that in spite of their scarcity of equipment, shortage of personnel, and general lack of resources, they still managed to make as many cock-ups as anybody. Now take, for instance, Kennewick, Washington State, because their contribution was quite interesting. You see, if a newscaster accidentally looks into the wrong camera, like I'm doing now, there's generally no way to tell him or her to face the other direction. But in this case, the cameraman attracts the girl's attention by clapping his hands. Students and staff from Highland Middle School pay their... Students and staff from Highland Middle School pay their last respects to Gary Hain today. <laughs> Well, once again, it's time to dust off the colored lights and make things look merry and bright. Hello, I'm weatherman Carl Bell, and at KMST, we'd like to help share the Yuletide spirit. So once again, as in seasons past, we'll capture homes on video and showcase them during my 11 p.m. weathercast. It's called Christmas Carling. <laughs> How are you doing today, son? Fine. What's your name? James. James, where are you from? From my mom's house. Your mom's house? Where does your mom live? At her house. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Bob Stovall has the long-standing reputation as being the custodian of the General Motors bellwether theory, which maintains that as GM stock goes, so goes the market in general. And I asked him to give us an update on the validity of that argument. <laughs> The 
here's the high pressure. Here's the cold temperatures. A big ass, big mass of uh, cold temperatures coming down. Whoops, I messed up there. Mass. Whoops. Everybody here in the studio is dying very badly. I did not mean that. We're family sensitive here. Good morning. Welcome to 10 News This Morning. I'm Carolyn Donaldson. And I'm David Price. Good morning. It's 28 degrees at 6.30. Taking a look at our top stories, police say a child set this devastating fire, and the FBI thinks that this man is the cross-dressing armed robber. We'll have a look at... Uh... <laughs> As we go to our current conditions in Rapid City, hmm, I appear to have a short in my computer switcher here. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. I got the little <laughs> somewhere. If I could just uh, grab it from back behind the uh, storage shed here. There we go. Let's take a look at our current conditions in Rapid City. You'll see it's 92 degrees. The dew point temperature is at 45. The relative humidity is 20%. Barometric pressure is 2088 and steady. Hey, guess what? The cord doesn't quite reach the <laughs> switch. Well, you see, the global warming accounts for the behavior of the weather, but what kind of pollution explains the behavior of weather forecasters? Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> speaking now as one for whom the three most frightening words in the English language are easy to assemble. <laughs> I can never find slot B. I, I welcome all those programs of handy household hints we get these days, especially as something else to be learned from them is that if to err is human, to really screw up requires the assistance of a TV expert. Okay. Now, everything we've been talking about is part of the ongoing maintenance routine. And as you can see, there's always something to be done. But it is worth the effort because if you can nip it in the bud early, not only will you save money, but you'll have the best looking house in the street. And that's what's going to add value when you decide to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe you, maybe you were doing your Christmas puddings in, in a little tiny saucepan like this. Uh, maybe you put... <laughs> <laughs> Using bar soap right. on your skin, you use that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then what we do is just alternate the shrimp with some wedges of lime. Oh my gosh! Kim! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Nice dinner service. We've got one coming up in a few moments' time. In fact, we're actually using the plates from the dinner service to show you this item. Now, again, picture the scene. Here we are at QBC because I've never seen this before. Let me just set the plates out very briefly. <laughs> and uh, that's done that way because it has a belt on it. And that's really good for big areas where you want to take a whole lot of. <laughs> <laughs> right. One of those things that couldn't happen again in a hundred years might not even happen again on the repeat. <laughs> anyway, the, the original title of our next file was Intrepid Television Reporters, but in the event, many of them turned out to be only too trepid. Sometimes, of course, pardonably so, as in this first example, where our man has one of those encounters that get reporters reported. Mother Nature's personal hitman. <laughs> I'll now pass to Nick in Wembley with a rather special piece of silverware. Nick. Hello, welcome to the Wembley dressing room of the playoff winners, Colston Town, we're here live. Queensland is drenched in the wake of Cyclone Plan. There's been flash flooding. <laughs> Just to keep it in room temperature, if it's air conditioner, of course, better. Do you have air conditioner at all? Ah, uh, yes. So, you can have this fine then. <laughs> is this for me? Yes. Really? Oh, wow. Thank you very, very much. Oh, I've lost it. I'm getting stuck. <laughs> It was appropriate to arrest him, and uh, we did so. How did you do that? 
I would have said you're under arrest. <laughs> well, that was very interesting. Are we going to let him go? That's right. Get and off I... to somewhere else. You know, the Great O isn't just a, a good river for fish food. It also looks ah. beautiful, doesn't it? And... Whoa! <laughs> 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 you have learned, do you think, a little bit more about your team and its potential by 20 to 5? We'll learn a lot earlier than that because we kick off at 12 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> this is the mating dance of the Oscars, is that right? Three, fo follow me, I'll walk with Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> uh. Three, two. <laughs> you I can deal with. Let's uh, imagine how proud his parents must have been when he got that TV reporter's job. <laughs> well, now heading for the end of part one, but before we hire us to young commercial break, rest assured that part two will be featuring even more white splashes on the windscreen of the performing arts. <laughs> Till then, time for a few other unfortunates who were left with their egos around their ankles. Charges will be filed against three or four prisoners. In Marion County, Steve Trent, WPDE, Action News. <laughs> Excuse me, thanks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mum, you're cooking. Well, it's not every year Nikki gets A plus for English. Nikki, the woman who thought a vowel was a small furry animal. Well, Mr. Gilbert thought her work was excellent. That old lech, what does he know? He spends all the time hooking the girls and drooling up her <laughs> how cold it is, I've left this pliable plastic tube immersed in the liquid nitrogen. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to break! <laughs> I mean, we can only hope that it gets better. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank uh -huh. you. Thanks. MFS has traditionally been a provider of telecom services. <laughs> uh, reading into the camera there. It's all right. <laughs> We'll do that turn again. Sorry. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is that right? That's, that was good. Okay. That was fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> Thanks very much. Is here a good old southern drawl? <laughs> you think you're dealing with some dumbass sh kicker? <laughs> Ten short years ago, the fifth largest fast food business in the U.S. of A. And I have come to this tiny spit of an island. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to interview and walk around a golf course at the same time can be a dangerous business. Like a woman on the veranda, actually shuffling. <laughs> It's the first story. <laughs> he put all his golden things in a pyramid so I could take them with him when he died. Yeah, good idea. Tell you what, if you make Pharaoh, you can do it as well. Maybe I should just spend it now, while I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going to need it to pay for the damages, actually. <laughs> oh, are you in the frame? I hope you're in the frame. I'm in the frame. <laughs> The <laughs> we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs> ah, I see you've got the anatomy of a walrus. Yes, Margaret says I could lose a couple of pounds. The new Honda CRV is so well equipped, it gives you a table, a fridge, and a very handy shower.
And if you get into trouble, it switches from two to four-wheel drive automatically. Technology you can enjoy from Honda. to a third on a wide range of fine fragrances at Boots. When your clothes feel good, you feel good. New Comfort Vitality has an invigorating fragrance. It puts bounce into fabrics, making everything feel soft and revitalized. New Vitality brings you and your clothes to life. To celebrate the launch of Batman and Robin on video, we're giving you free 3D glasses and an amazing comic only in tomorrow's News of the World. If it goes on, it goes in. Would you like to try this? It's real chocolate. No, don't eat chocolate. With half the fat. Oh, well. This is crazy! This is crazy! Mm. Well, what do you think? This is good. Too good. Let's see here. I'm 36. 36 years of saying no to chocolate, and after all that time, you come up with this, this flight. I suppose you think that's clever. Flight. Sorry it took so long. What makes the bond between every parent and baby so special? Your touch and Johnson's baby. Because new Johnson's Baby Soothing Bath with Chamomile cleans, soothes, and relaxes. From the day you were born, the special connection is Johnson's. Excellent! I used to do that. Oh. Cheaper than they were 30 seconds ago now, I can tell you. centre of a sensational murder case in India has been protesting his innocence at his latest court hearing. Sushil Sharma, a senior official in the country's ruling Congress party, is accused of killing his wife and then trying to dispose of the body in a tandoori oven. <laughs> Did you hear me? What's up? I was playing Granny Clara's game. Oh, really? 
What was that? What kind of a game was it? Yeah, it's okay, sweetheart. What kind of a game? He doesn't know his lines. <laughs> Before I light it, I want to really remind you that you should never, ever, ever play with fire or matches, ever. See, this experiment is not safe to try at home. Okay, I'm going to light this. <laughs> There it is. You see, the fire's burning. Oh, can you observe any changes in the balloon? <laughs> we need the team. His, uh, his Holiness and a small white bird trying to get by on a wing and a prayer. <laughs> well, it's time to take a moment to reconsider that overused word, timing. Because in television terms, what it mainly refers to nowadays is the number of things that seem to happen too soon, too late, or exactly at the wrong moment. Again, one of those concepts easier to demonstrate than explain. CGX News Watch Late Edition. Good evening at last. By the way, these kidnappers, they are the most barbaric, vicious, violent, this disgusting human beings on the face of the earth. Please, my darling, oh. they think they can out the smart Luigi Camoloni, <laughs> but I am know what I am doing. <laughs> the sound man don't, but I do. That's a very nice drop, too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, Neil, how long have you been here now? We've been here since 1973. And there's not just the vineyards to see around here, of course. There's lots of other attractions, too. Yes, it's, it's a wonderful area. The, um, the Pyrenees themselves are particularly beautiful. things popping Well, we're joined now by Neva Mack from Weight Watchers. Now, you know, I've almost got to the stage where I can't be bothered to read these articles anymore, which tell us about things being good for us or bad for us, and we're putting on too much weight and what have you. Obviously, people are getting a bit sick of the message, aren't they, if people are beginning to put weight on? Are you speaking to me now? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> it started. <laughs> You're on maternity leave at the moment. Yes, I Oh, congratulations. Yes. Thanks. When's the baby due? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Um, uh, Mr. Winton, on a day when his horoscope said, don't ask. Now, uh, on again, this time to some discarded moments from commercials. The first of them showing the by no means overdressed supermodel Karen Mulder as she writhed sinuously on a cotton wool cloud in aid of Victoria's Secret, a chain of American lingerie boutiques <laughs> whose catalogue is said to be steamier than a Phillips iron. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's actually quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, is that A7 star satin paint that you're holding? Why, yes. Yes, it is A7 star satin. <laughs> why, yes. Yes, it is seven, A7. Yes. Why, yes. Yes, why, yes. Yes, why, yes. Why, yes, yes, yes. Hey, Mom, what is this stuff? It's chicken. This isn't chicken, but it's real good. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Vern, what's that you got there? Country fresh ice cream in my favorite flavor. And you know it'll taste great, too, because it's in the new Fresh Seal Pack. You just zip and flip, and it didn't tear. <laughs> now it did, and this side's still stuck. <laughs> we make the best hamburgers in the business. And that was Dave Thomas, owner of Wendy's Hamburgers, whose only problem with doing their commercials himself is that his body seems to have built up an immunity to saying the words, muchas gracias. We make the best hamburgers in the business. But my daughter Wendy says, Dad, people are eating more salads today. So let's make a great taco salad. So I said, Wendy, mucus. <laughs> So let's make a great taco salad, so I said, Wendy, mucus knock. <laughs> so I said, Wendy, machos gushes. <laughs> we make the best hamburger in the business. But my daughter Wendy says, Dad, people are eating more salads today. So let's make a great taco salad with lettuce and tomato covered with chili and cheese. So I said, Macho Grasses, Wendy, which means it's a heck of a good idea. Oh, good. Okay, one more time. That's good. The, fr the first part was perfect. So let's make a great taco salad with lettuce and tomato covered with chili and cheese. So I said... Alright, start again, start again, start again. Hey, well, let me go one more time. Yeah. Um, uh, give it to me again, that word. Mucho. Mucho gracias. Mucho. Okay, okay. Everybody's waiting for me to say the word. I stayed awake last night. So let's make a great taco salad with lettuce and tomato covered with chili and cheese. So I said... So... Let's make a great taco salad with lettuce and tomato covered with chili and cheese. So I said, mocha. <laughs> it should have, should have told Wendy, just go finish her homework. <laughs> well, as we're down for another commercial break soon, let me promise you that part three will not only contain the same mixture of unconvincing sympathy and ill-disguised relish, it'll also bring some of the specials on today's menu. In the meantime, here's further proof that although your average TV person can be outwitted by practically any type of inanimate object, for really deep down humiliation, nothing beats the furnishings and fittings. Well, Jack, looks like you made bail. What? Yeah. How? Jennifer put up her half of the house. Abe, I told you not to get her involved with this. I didn't want her to have anything to do with it. Well, she's already involved. You ain't getting out. experienced power outages last night around 11 p.m. <laughs> Carl, my God, get off him! 
are you doing? Carl! You're gonna kill him! Now you get this into your thick head, you sicko. We don't want to see you. We don't want to hear from you. You come near Selena one more time, mate, I will do you such physical damage. You're going to have more chance of giving birth to a baby than father and one. That should sort him out. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Hey, listen, you were, were you watching Helen? The healing, the healing yeah. woman. How are you doing? There's only one part of me that needs healing. Yeah. And Helen, I don't want to talk about it at this moment in time. Let's just say it's going to take you a while to heal what I got. It's very interesting. It's like it's good that you never stop talking, though, Helen. I'm afraid, yeah. I'm I think you should do some card tricks as well. Yeah. You're going to heal your shoulder, and hey, it's this. <laughs> come from Moscow. I think you mean Moscow. No, Moscock. In Norway. Ah. Cheese? Open any can of Campbell's condensed soup and you'll find it packed full with the tastiest ingredients like these. Which means you just have to add a can of water to make double double the amount of delicious soup every single time. Campbell's. We pack more in so you get mm -mm, more out. Up in Starland, all the Milky Way magic stars are going to the fun fair. But look out, here comes trouble. It's a chocolate-eating monster from outer space. Watch out, behind you. <gasps> yummy, yummy, magic stars for my tummy. Luckily, Bright Star's given Superstar a super idea. Sorry. Pop it, three eyes. Milky Way magic stars, they're yummy. For your tummy. In the Sunday Mirror tomorrow are Diana Diaries by the hairdressers who saw her every day and shared her secrets. Marriage to Dodie? I'll tell you what she told me about him. The People's Princess. You should have seen her cleaning the bath in her yellow rubber gloves. The real Diana. She loved life and we all loved her. Only in the Sunday Mirror tomorrow. New on shelf today, Surf Lemon Fresh. Fantastic whites with natural lemon. It smells as clean as it looks. And of course it carries the Lever Brothers. Oh no. There are millions of reasons to fly today. Only one that matters to you. At Delta Airlines, it is our pleasure to get you to the place you want to be. Delta Airlines, on top of the world. crazy world, you have to keep your defenses up. So for your security, this Corsa has central locking, security deadlocks, and an electronic engine immobilizer. The new Corsa from Vauxhall. This is Rofor? Ah, uh, no, that's where it gets confusing. This is Rockfor. Actually, it's Stilton, Charles. <laughs> Hey! 
and you really ought to show it if you're happy and you know it, have a quack, quack, quack. Hey, yeah, we're just having a bit of a sing song before we have the big stop, launch. Stop, 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 what? stop, stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> now, on the South Island, the lineup's much the same. It's uh, damp and cloudy in uh, southern and eastern areas. Those are southerlies, strong and exposed places, but further inland and <laughs> the west of the main divide, the woods are light and skies will be nice and funny. Uh, sunny. <laughs> <laughs> as we head down the trail to Wild West excitement in the foothills of Alberta. <laughs> oh, can you stop them? Miss Pfeiffer, my wife is upstairs. <laughs> This is it's kind of too early, isn't it, on a Labor Day? People will be throwing up their potato salad here in just a second. What do you think of that? I don't usually take a bath oh. with my dad. <laughs> she doesn't take baths with her dad. Oh. I'm sorry. Hi, come here often, little girl. <laughs> your hair. Oh, your hair's on fire. Oh, your hair's on fire. believe that I could share my my dreams my disappointments that I could make a marriage work that I could have my own family Charlene did all those things for you yes yes she did she opened up my heart and I'll always be grateful to her but Kelsey she's gone we have this <laughs> Uh, that's what happens when you work through lunch. <laughs> well, with all those additional TV channels coming our way soon, it's estimated that by the year 2006, everybody in the world will have appeared on television at least three times, which certainly won't please the trades professionals, because they know that of all the troublemakers in this game, nobody can give you more grief than members of the public. Take this actress using a public telephone box for a dramatic scene on location. could be matched against either Burbick, Tyson or Thomas. This should build up to a summer climax to establish who is the true heavyweight champion of the world. And only on ITV can you see all of those fights. Yes, only with us. And so with our... <laughs> You're a clever lad, aren't you? Why don't you give us a chance? <laughs> Well,
Well done. Have a great time in Amsterdam. Julian, uh, still to get in the game, really. Yeah. You're getting married soon. I'm married now. <laughs> Well done, off to Amsterdam. Julian still to get in the game. You got married quite recently, didn't you? Two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> May wonder why people would go to such great lengths just to please an animal. Well, as we found out, to a lot of people, a pet is just like a pet. <laughs> Did he drop the dog right as I was talking? <laughs> final assures the Hawkeyes their second consecutive winning season and sets up their final game at Michigan State with a bowl still possible. John Campbell, TV9, Eyewitness Sports at Kinnick Stadium with an asshole. You can be your pants. I'm a plant to eat him and you're a skull. Land me in. I'm going to go for head now. And all sort of in. I'm going to go for What's the camera, Simon? Let's see. Go on. If you're looking at local powers, and if you actually see how much the boys in the band for? Um, well, uh, I've known Nick and uh, his family um, for about eight, to eight years, uh, since he was eight, sorry, eight years old. And then uh, about a year ago, uh, I met Rufus. So you've known them both for quite a while then? Um, yeah. I mean, uh, when I say I've known Rufus before that, but I met him when they started doing their gigs. You know, we're going to have to edit this down a bit, the whole lifestyle. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's entirely my fault. Listen, we'll assume you've known him for a while and we'll just skip over that. I'll address his phone numbers, national suicide. There we go. I'll come up there, fellas, because it's short. We'll get, get ready to go. Okay, so we'll take that again. Okay. Tell me about how long you've, you've known the band for. How long have you known the boys? How long have you known the boys? Well, I know Nick and uh, uh, his family uh, for a very long time. <laughs> You laughing like this? <laughs> People are going to tune in and say, well, they laugh, you know. <laughs> we, all, we all know you know what. Right? <laughs> hey, will you stop it? Because you're not making any easier for any of us. Well, I'll tell you now, shall I? Tell me now. We'll do it again. No yeah. giggling. No, I'll, I'll tell, tell you. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, how, how long have you known the boys in the band for? How long have you known the boys in the band for? Yeah. Right. Well, I've known... <laughs> We're patching together from conversations we've had earlier. <laughs> yes, it is the, uh, the always equable and normally a plum filled Jonathan. Well, something for the raised eyebrows brigade now. Uh, no sooner said than regretted, or I could have bitten my tongue off section, because although previous programmes have turned up an occasional example of the infelicitous or unwittingly ex-certificate phrase, this year seems to have produced a crop that are almost exquisitely ill-judged. Do you think that a man and woman can have a platonic relationship if there's an attraction there? Did you hear about me and Rangi? No, what about you and Rangi? Well, that's what we've got. It got physical, well, nearly physical, but he pulled out out of respect for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, peel the cucumber, get the, the nasty, bitter outside edge off. You do almost everything with this chopper of yours, don't you? <laughs> In this report, Diane Le Hervas has met a remarkable woman who is making medical history and the scientists who are making it with her. You really can't fault what he's done for England. You, you, any, anybody in a position of high profile is going to have his knockers or her knockers. Do you ever get angry while you're playing around? <laughs> while you're playing around? <laughs> Sorry about that. We can 
doesn't have change, we have a wonderful ticket. Two young men, attractive, able, ambitious, imaginative, compassionate alcoholics. Workaholics. Every division or every area of the state it has either an extreme or a very high fire index. So that means if you're planning on burning today, be real careful. Yeah, be careful with your fires and be careful with your butts. You know what it is. What we're all trying to do on bikes is be as aerodynamic as we can to avoid wind resistance. And one of the ways you can do it is you can get behind a leader in a line and allow that person to break wind for you and actually get behind them to put you in the a jet was on a training mission when it went down just south of the base. But the pilot and the co-pilot both managed to ejaculate safely. So far, no one did get in the front line. At 18, Stephen Mulhern's already a wizard talent. He's just become the youngest member of the elite magic circle, so he now ranks alongside the world's most distinguished magicians like Paul Daniels, David Copperfield. Well, he's currently delighting holidaymakers at Summer West World at Minehead, where he works as a raincoat. <laughs> Uh, why he's known to those holiday makers as Big Mac. Well, <laughs> heading towards the end credits now. So first, to all the well-loved and highly respected personages who've let us show them being slightly less than godlike, may I say our customary mucus gracchus. <laughs> as for our concluding compilation, well, seeing it comes from places as far apart as Australia, America, Germany, New Zealand, Canada and Weatherfield, what else can it be but that long-running phenomenon, the phantom of the soap opera? Mm. All right, anybody for more meat? Oh, no, not for me, thanks. It was all right? It was lovely. Great. Have some more. Right, son, no point in asking you, Andrea, I don't suppose. Not much of an appetite. No, too much beer, son, that's what it is. You have a decent drink when your brother comes out. Oh, yeah, you. because... <laughs> Dann wären Henrik und Alicia entweder bei ihrem Großvater oder wieder in Brasilien. Ich habe den doch damals angefleht, dass er dir noch eine Chance gibt. Bekniet habe ich den. Erinner dich halt mal. Jetzt hör mir doch mal zu. I'll give you the first note of the chorus. Then you all come in, okay? Yep, can but try. <lacht> Anyway, I apologise, eh? Told her to shoot me next time. It was your gun. Yeah, I was out of it when I put it away. Must have left it loaded. <laughs> I know, I know, and I won't do it again. We'll go near the thing when I've been drinking. Well, at least it missed my face. Close the rules and pass the ammunition. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Yes, thanks. You didn't send a f***ing pass card, did you? Mr. Marta, I see you've met Mrs. Grimaldi. Mrs. Grimaldi? Uh, Damien is my wife. My wife? Now, I love that woman, and you know it. Well, I love her too, Woody. I just hope you believe that. You make me believe it. And more important than that, you make Maggie believe it. And don't you ever, ever give her any reason to doubt that. 
I don't intend to. Good. <laughs> don't. <laughs> oh, Woody. Don't you want your papers? Mail them to me, Dirk. <laughs> Next week at 9, Granada takes a look back and celebrates 10 years of Hale and Pace. And before we go, just to clear up a little bit of hockey confusion, Detroit, in fact, did win that game with Pittsburgh 6-4. What you saw on the screen was wrong. What Greg said was right, and when he corrected himself, he was wrong to correct himself because he was right the first time. Hi. Nice bunch. They left you this. Ah, just what I would have bought. You did buy it. It's the last bottle. <laughs> <laughs>